the top at five, we begin with breaking news on I-5, where this wreck was burning for the last couple of hours. State Patrol says it was a wrong-way collision between a vehicle and a semi. Then a fire started just after three near the main gate for JBLM. It was put out just a few minutes ago, but from what we can see here, there are at least two vehicles involved in this situation. All lanes of I-5 North were closed at first, and then both directions were shut down for a while. This is a live look at the situation right now, and you can see some of that traffic moving very slowly there. Southbound lanes of I-5 were closed, so crews could get at that fire easier, but they are now back open, and State Patrol says this will take quite some time for them to be able to clear. And we are joined now by Sarah Barrett. She has been stuck in this traffic backup for almost two hours now. So Sarah, it's not unusual to have slow traffic around JBLM, but this is ridiculous. What's the scene like out right there right now? Um, I just got off the highway and passed the crash and it looked really rough. I couldn't even tell what the other car looked like at this point. And did you see anything or hear anything about this wrong way crash or the actual impact out there? No, but I did hear it when it happened and there was a lot of smoke. Like I heard a bang and I just thought it was the usual, you know, JBLM's right there. They do a lot of trading, but turns out it was the crash. Do you take this route a lot? Is it something you frequent and have to deal with these traffic backups? Yeah, I live on JBLM, so I'm pretty used to it, but I barely got on the highway before it was a complete stop. Yeah, the big challenge there is really there's nowhere to go. You, there's no yeah. workaround. That's always an issue for sure. Well, Sarah, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate it. We're glad that you have now made it past that scene and can continue on your way. Let's turn to Mark Krulish on the phone. He's a public information officer for WashDOT. Mark, what's the very latest on the situation there on I-5? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we have all lanes on southbound I-5 open, and we have one lane open on the northbound side. Okay, and so what does the cleanup process look like for a situation like this? How long do you think it'll take to really get this fully clear? Uh, we really don't have an ETA on how long this is going to take at this time, so we are really encouraging travelers, if they can, to uh, delay their trips as possible, uh, as there's really no good detour route. The State Patrol is saying it's a wrong way crash. Do you know if this is going to turn into a crime scene tonight? Uh, I'm not certain about that. And we've seen a lot of black smoke pouring off the burning vehicle. Any concerns for air quality or anything else that drivers need to be worried about? Uh, nothing that I know of at this time. All right, and finally, your message for drivers again uh, that are spending their time sitting in the rush hour. I'm sure if they're watching this, of course, they're being advised not to go that way, but what about for those that are out there? Uh, we uh, appreciate your patience, and uh, as always, we uh, try to get things uh, cleaned up as soon as possible. All right, thank you so much for the information. We appreciate your time. And we